Okay, okay, it working, yes. Good morning, good morning. Welcome to the recap of yesterday. It was Wednesday, the 22nd of March. Let's dive straight into it because I want to be done before pre Frankfurt. Look at this push yesterday from the news. We're going to talk about these trades. Um, I think there was a short, there was short possibilities. Uh, one thing I got to mention. Those watching, I kind of struggle lately to mark out the new, the New York trades. I don't know if it's noticed, but it's because I don't trade New York anymore. So, really, I don't know because my focus point is not on New York anymore. Uh, I kind of find it hard to see entries, but it's all right. So let's dig into it. Let's start on the. Daily hope it's not too messy. It's all right. Okay. So <clears throat> yesterday's candle, this is yesterday's candle, but we can see we took our previous daily highs over here. And uh, the previous daily high sits here at this level. Seven eight eight six, isn't it? Yeah. Uh price takes it out. Uh, the day before we took our previous weekly highs. So if you go lower, I think we first, yeah. Okay. So we can see the retracement candle and uh, slow down during Asia. Or not even during Asia. It's, oh, actually, this is Asia. Sorry. What are these times? UTC. It is all right. Nine, thirteen. Oh yeah. So yesterday, uh, we pushed. Uh, during London, we pushed up into the previous weekly highs. Oh, that's it. Yeah, we pushed up into the previous weekly highs. Let's just go lower, so we can see it. the Asia was very slow. And over here, we get the Frankfurt open and everything, and price picks up pace again. But if we go low, there you go. So the turnaround is not the strongest. We can see that we had this uh, break. And I think I've already discussed this trade. But I think it's still in here. Object tree. There you go. Then, yeah, this trade opportunity over here will be a break-even trade. A lot of break-even trades lately. Because, yeah, it's the high. Because the high is the... Um, Slightly larger. Jeez. It's because of the slightly larger stop losses. And they just miss one to three, this one. Uh, but this was in New York. We can actually take this away now. Remove this. And now we can see we were forming bear strips. We get a high, a low, a lower high. Holding up liquidity over here. And then a lower low. This is our new demand block. Why is this our demand block? It's a bit intricate. It's a bit large. You have to train your eye for this. I'm still working on that. It's quite hard to see. But we can see that um, it's an internal range structure. Uh, we had the bullish break. And then we had continued down. And this was our buy to sell move. So our buy move is our demand. Or sorry, our supply. I have to put it as... So this is our supply zone. 50% of the supply zone gets hit. And we can see the... <laughs> and we can see that during uh, Asia, you form our first set of early sellers. Price comes up higher, then gets another bearish break. So bearish break, early sellers, early sellers taken out. Real break, we get one over here. Actually, I would take this one because this is a shift on the five minute and your entry comes from there because this is only weak, but this is a better one. Although this stronger one, this this one is a candle break. This is only a weak break. But then you get your first entry over here and that basically um, doesn't come that far at all. One to two, maybe not even. So we can take that away. Then over here, very intricate. We got we're respecting this um five minute range and we got 
like on the five minute, we got another confirmation based entry. That was this one. So we got a if we go lower. It's better to do this one lower though. I would prefer to take this one. Only one minute, but with the slow movement away and everything and FOMC coming out later as well. I was seeing price coming higher, actually. And we took an Asia lows as well. It was just, and this was Frankfurt open, so I don't enter as Frankfurt open. Because I get wicked out all the time. So this was exactly Frankfurt open. God, let me show you. Yeah, so was no entry for me. So you get your early sellers, why? You get your low, your high, your higher low, your higher high. No, let me check that. That's not really necessary for the early sellers. But yes, you can see that this low came into the discount. We got another bullish break, tapping into the 50% of the um, supply area, bearish break, and continuous bearish break. Oh, by now bullish break and then we get the bearish break again so that's where our trade comes from over here you get your five your one minute entry which is quite clean as well you get your swing low to your swing high or your buy move that took out the liquidity the early sellers to your sell move and that's where an entry comes from and this one it might actually hit something. So 25, it's quite a large, um, a lot of breathing room for a one minute chart in PIP, in my opinion. But yeah, so four, and this hits one, two, three. Yeah, just about, so not that great either. Let's set target one to fours, at least. Uh, we're just not in the market right now. Oh, sorry. We can see that the price movements are quite small from here. So maybe you could say like, all right, we know that we're not in a market right now where uh, we get like the the largest moves. So we might look for short or um, lower risk to reward trades thing you can do i personally would just take the trade and try to get to my target or to liquidity um following my rules over here so i didn't enter this trade because i was was not clear i had not much clarity and but you can see if i follow this trade and if i took the straight i was i was just look it's too clean it's a nice accumulation low high higher low higher high bearish break on the minor structure, um, respecting the major structure, bullish break, the real bearish break. So it's super clean, super nice, but I just couldn't see this very clear. I missed out on the trade and I was Frankfurt, out, Frankfurt open, so I wanted to wait for that as well. If I took the trade, bearish break here, so reduction of stop loss, stop loss would have been either here but there was no entry area, so I might have just took it at break even. And that would have been the trade for London. Now, there's also a long trade, I think. And that one came from here, which is counter trend. Because we got our uh, bearish break. We have a high or low, a lower high, a lower low, and uh, potential lower high. So this was our weak low. In my opinion, again. Then we also had this range from this low up to this high. Never reached discount. So another reason for me to look for shorts. Over here you can see my notes. So I started with no entry, saw the move, but couldn't line up the confluences. This was for the this short over here. Then also Frankfurt open. So this was just pre. This was after the move, this was before the move. So I also want to wait because I always get wicked out. 
continuation trade maybe and yes it was a continuation trade we got all the conferences or the trade during asia so our london trade is continuation trade missed that all right like clarity just stay out you know from what happens did that happy with that and then got clarity missed the entry no need to be part of uh, the move anymore so you could have like entered over here again but as i said no need to be part of the move uh, again Accept the miss. So then I saw like, all right, this is a nice impulse. However, this is slow. Why? Why is the sun slow down? If you want to ask yourself that. And we can see that we had this five minute PY over here. Well, following the structure, it should be broken. What is FOMC? So my, uh, my idea was market is going to range. They didn't actually put range in. That's quite some moves. But uh, it turned around and it made the London swing at the lows, took out Asia low, took out internal lows and went uh, against this bear structure and turned around and went up. And then we had our previous daily high up here, took that out. So let's put it on before. So this is a previous <laughs> daily high. I wrote it like I wrote PH like I like it away right PhD <laughs> something like that all right now let's go deeper into our charts but this is for today our Asia high has been taken but oh this might be the new Asia high by the way let me quickly do that we will dive into today's uh, this morning's fire section as well and then go over that again tonight. So let's focus on these longs. And not bother about everything that happens after. Until it happens. <clears throat> All right. So press comes down. We have our early buyers over here as well. Um, Pit intricate you could say like this is your early buyers can you get the high that leads to that low early buyers you also get early buyers over here because we were sp speaking about this bear structure so you get your minor early buyers you got a high low lower high low low bullish break bearish break so let's remove this now let's also remove this now actually let's take off all of this so it's pure distraction Let's remove that. Let's remove this. Now, we already discussed this. So let's remove that as well. And let's purely focus on because my buys are short, as you can see. So that's why I have all the short markings on and barely any long markings. Which is good, I think. Because you mainly focus on your bias and your trade direction, the trade the direction you want to trade that day. So this is your already buyers, not gonna mark out everything clean. I actually have to go to the toilet again. Uh, always during these uh, recaps, but those are taken out and you get bearish structure continuing actually. And you get your bullish break over here. Now, is there a fellow entry? We're gonna look that up right away. Got a high, a low, a lower high, a lower low. And then over here, you could say, all right, my minor break is either from there or from there. I would take this one. Actually, depends on the five minute. Five minute read. No. So I would take this one. But if you enter from the one minute, you could do it like that. And then... If you take it from the one minute, it probably wouldn't be an entry. So then your entry would be at 620. Nope. So there wouldn't be an entry. Now, fun thing is, if you just take it from the five minute again, there's an entry. So there's this is the thing with this new strategy. Just slightly higher. You've got to make sure you have the right right direction 
So I had it this morning or that morning. 31, 41, and then, oops, and five minutes stop. So long trade, 41, and then stops five pip below, 45 pip below. So 51, 56. And you long it, you long it to the moon. No, you long it till here. That's where you take partials. There you go. Partials and you let the rest run. Where do you let the rest run? That's a hard question, actually. No, it's not a hard question, but it depends what your view was. So my view was short, so I would, even if I caught this long, it would mean that my bias would be long. And then I would hold and I would zoom out. Just going with my thought patterns. So now let's go to the four hour. What would I target? I would at least target this high over here. And my second target would be this four hour for value gap over there. So let's actually mark that out as my target. Now it's expanded trade. So this would be a partial, uh, maybe close it here because we're above that high. But if you have the balls to do it, why not do it? I don't know what happened during New York. So there you go. I thought maybe it retraced, but it didn't. So, oops. And now let's look at candlestick formations. What are they telling us? Yes. So, Telling the 50 minute candle was already telling us that we might turn around. We got a rejection candle over here, a rejection wick inside bar, and then a, another wick, not just taking out the previous one. So, to make the entry drill complete, we got the to the downside over there, Frankfurt open. This time, Frankfurt. Tricks us to the other side and we get a liquidity sweep over here again. And we got the bullish break and we got our entry, a long trade, one to 4.2, one to 4.3. Beautiful trade. Now, oh, these toilet visits are so annoying. I have to go there. Let me just quickly go over New York as well before I go. So we know that this one allows. We had the lungs. This is our London swing then, then we want New York, or pretty New York either to retrace, and we actually continue, and all right, I'll be right back.
Sorry. What's this? Oh, you didn't. All right. No. All right. One day I might might actually edit these videos, but today's not the day. All right, I'm back. So I don't know which when this video started, but there's a little break. So let's focus on this now. All right. So we come up, we take out these previous daily highs. And what's inside this POI? Is there any time frame stuff? No, because it was that wig. All right. Good to know. Um, previous daily high taken. Now let's look if there are any shorts. Back to here, and let's start with uh, going on a one minute. So for the one minute, I like to for the for this entry show is the when previous daily highs are getting taken or are taken. I still like to use my um, one minute entry trail. However, I can easily see there's no really sellers on the way up. You got a minor break over here, but that one class is really sellers. So. Let's just mark out the entry though. In case you would take the trade. There's no it's just no, no trade. There's no early sellers. A short trade would come from here. Uh, eight eight. That's a lot of grading right now. One paper can make such a difference. Might reduce it. Four point two, four point seven. Just keep it so the difference is this. <laughs> Quite a lot. Yeah, it's a difference between a, a one to two and a one to three, one to two point seven. But however, it doesn't matter how you take it, it doesn't play out. This was the break, and then you can zoom out again. You can see we still inside the block. Now we have a form of early sellers over here. Five minute, kind of. But yeah, it's really slow it's time from early sellers. But they are really sellers. Maybe it's just the thing is it's, it keeps respecting this, so that's a bit tricky. That's a beautiful POI or a block area that gets respected. So yeah. I know maybe long continuation trades would make sense. That air structure, early bias, early bias taken out. Uh, uh. See a uh, small entry over there. Let's see if it plays out. Yeah, there you go. So now you get your early sellers. You get a low, a high, a high low, an internal structure. You get your break over here. Liquidity building up over here. And then you have our sweep over here. Sorry. Sweep. Then you get your entry over here. This is basically, in my opinion, it's almost, it's not guessing, but you see price is willing to push higher. It keeps pushing higher. Now let's look at the one hour. What candles can we see? So those candles look pretty clean at, what is that purple line? What the? What is that? I don't know what that was, but you see like, 
Price pushing up. Um, strong impulse here. Or right, decent candles, but then this candle takes out the high and close above that candle. 50 minute wise, we can see a little slow down. This doji candle indicates a short though. This doji candle indicates that we might turn short. Um, got some trend line over there. That's good. Can we extend that? I think we can. Yes, perfectly. So that's a nice target. Mm. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I actually want to mark out the trade. So, high time for conference. Sorry, that we took a long and high. We had already set it over here. One of the minor break. And we then. Break structure over there. We get some internalized liquidity as well, so you might even want to enter off that. But we don't. Why don't we? Because we have a different entry drill, and that would be from this low up to this high, giving it some room. So that's almost half the range. I wouldn't do that. So. In this case, I would take half a pip. So I don't, like, I don't want to enter here. That, that, that makes not quite that sense. So 77, then do half a pip, 72. You want to stay. This also when you go with this. Rise almost every time. It's at least at 50%. You don't want to be below that, really. So. Get that one three two point five. Okay. This is the trade of the day following my entry drill. Oh no, I think there was a long that was even better, but it was more of a not something I would enter. There you go. And that one place so I didn't meant to do this. But yeah. So this trade is beautiful, beautiful trade. Love it. Theme break. Swing entry five minute break actually. Uh, it's a bit tricky on the five minute. That's no, that's not class. This is five minute, but one minute there. So very nice. Love it. Now into the long. There you go. We gotta keep in mind we get new surprise. So we'll probably slow down here. So we take out this low, actually not on the five minute. Of course not. Oh, it just takes it out. Good, breaks break. There you go. Another thing is there's up down to one minute again to see the better. Right classes is your demand zone, but we already tapped into that over here. Right class, this is your demand zone. That might be valid. But anyway, we got our early buyers over here. As you can see, New York is pretty clean, just the entry area is a bit hard to read. So you got your early buyers over here. We got this high that led to that low. That one is taken out. Come on. Gee, bro. What the? There you go. There. This one breaks, followed by the sweep of liquidity. So this is the perfect old school entry drill, and it's clean as day. Uh, sweep, and then still enter anyway. So actually, the entry comes after we break this, and this is still a candle. Actually, I think this is a five minute mark shift. Yes, it is. Very intricate again, but it's clean. Because these are, you want it to be intricate on the five minute, meaning that it will be clean on the one minute. And that's my entry style. And not intricate on the one minute, meaning it will be clean on the seconds, because that's shit. So 93, 8, 
the this one is right. Keep the reading room. Four point seven, five point two. And where do we target them? Well, actually, this is for me, this is kind of trend. So why is this kind of trend? We get a high low, a high, a high low, a high, high bearish break over here. Um this was just liquidity by the way. Not a break. Um because we we're above prime previously high, so I actually don't know if this is a good trade to take. Let me quickly see if someone else caught it. We might get smarter people. I think I'm missing trades. Let's see. Oh no, just there. All right. It's good. Um yeah. So let's stick with what I said. It's the most conservative way of looking at it. And um, I like it. So just go break even over here. Actually, above this one, don't be too greedy. Although there is an order block, there is an order block. Just go break even over here. And let's see what happens. So we didn't reach that yet. So we didn't go break even yet. It could have gone rid oh actually reduced stop loss so high lower low higher high entry comes from here our entry and then we break again above here so we reduce our stop loss to below this candle following our rules also seeing that everything is mitigated over one minute uh that's big of a large stop oops Let's put it somewhere here. This one. And then our first target will be above here. See? It's waiting. There you go. That target is hit. Trust me, it's hit. <laughs> and even if it's not, and we got news coming out. There you go. Now it's hit. You would definitely want to leave partials here. 100%. Because you know FOMC is coming out. So you know that it will be a break even trade or a massive win. So, yeah, the pretty target and one to four. But one to four is not really necessary if you close majority of your trade at one to 3.9. So we just keep it for here, the four hour for value gap, and press max into it. There you go. One to 18, now you have 20% um, of your trade left, it means 18 point times um, point two means 3.6%, I'm correct. I think I'm wrong. 18 times 02. Yeah, 3.6%. Nice. So that's an overall thing. You got your 80% at 3.8 or 3.9. 3.9 times 0.80. So you got 6.7%. That's a sick trade. That's good risk to reward. I love it. Good stuff. So that was a long. Now you might as well look for shorts here because we got that break and then your entry will be here. But it's not the yeah, yeah. <laughs> this this supply is ready. Uh this buy to sell. So this one is already mitigated. And at least not much left to enter from. Yeah, you got this one over here, actually. It might even respect as well. Yeah, it respects that. So you could have ended from that for short because of the breaks over here. So you get your early sellers over here, then you get your break over here. And then this is short high time from entry. Short. So 64, 54, 
just about, let's take 57. It's like in between. You gotta be realistic. You, you just, if it's too big, just a, just slightly reduce it. I'm literally in a flow state lately with it, so it's good. And then you only get a one to three point five, not even, just about. So if you target like three point five, there was none, and then this trade and this trade was just no. I think it was one to three, but there were trade opportunities. But yeah, all right, all right, all right, all right. What time is it? So seven thirty means six thirty. In thirty minutes, we got Frankfurt open. Now let's look into that. First, let's clean up my charts. So we don't need this. We don't need this. You know, the one is swinging as fun here. This was all hallucination. This can go, this can go. Now let's see how it closed on the daily. Oh damn, we already took it out. Strong close to the downside. Or good retracement. Like, let's see. Mm, or just go 35%. Um, mm That's clean. That's done. Asia high been taken. I don't see reasons to short yet. Okay, still look still straight up right now. Got some early sales here, but this is just a movement without any strong rejection. So next thing I want to do is this. We got job claims today. We got ECB rates. Let's use my code. One, two, three. Thanks, bro. What is this? There's just nothing there, or there's no euro. Okay, good. That's good. So we got only the uh, home sales, and we got oh job claims. <clears throat> you can see some early sellers over here. We know previous daily highs taken as well. So we can look for shorts. Now I want to know, like, check this out. Um, It's actually interesting to keep on previously high take previous weekly high take and then on the Wednesday or the Tuesday we turn around previous weekly low take and on the Wednesday we keep turning around again. If you didn't take this Wednesday we wouldn't come up yet. Okay, so I see a five minute supply area over there. Uh, what's this? Oh, there. There you go. So let's actually realign this as well. 
So as you can see, we got a minor bears rig over here, bullish rig. So we get a sweep over there. Then we got this 50 minute demand for supply. FDMS. And let's say this. Fine. Put it all the way across. Move that. Put this all the way across. So we tap into that and we didn't tap into that yet. So ideally we want to see a five minute mark shift. Um ow. Oh, I hit my foot. Ow. Mm. I'm actually quite happy with this week. One trade, but even trade, nothing more. So um, I actually go to work. Just skip trading for today. No, 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 no. We don't work like that. But well, this is pushing up way too fast for me. Although this is all correctional, right? Let's wait for Frankfurt to open up first. That's one thing that's for sure. Nice rejection for now, but there's not much. The really sellers are weak. If anything, there are no really sellers. You can see we got low led to that high. We just got a retracement rather than early sellers. We got our Asia lows over here. Oh. And that's it. This could be early sellers though, but it's so minor. Mm. This push up is so strong. See how it's already creating on the way down. Not really anything there. So yeah. No. All right. All right. This is the recap. Hope you enjoyed it. I think it was a good recap. We literally discussed both sides of the markets as well in London as well as in New York. We didn't really, really go into the camel structure formations on the higher time frames. Well, no, yeah, we quickly went over it. The impulse. Mm. Um, yeah. I don't know what to say. We've got some liquidity really over down here. That's the thing we can target, but ideally we want to target these lows now. We finally reached this count of that bigger range. We can take that off now. Clarity. We can actually say now this is our liquidity. See that slowdown inducing sellers into the market. Continuation up. Here's reaching highs we've taken. We know that. And again, we are bullish on this bullish structure and this range, but that's a nice trend line building up to the downside. These are not like large liquidity pulls, in my opinion. So yeah. All right. This was the recap. Catch you guys uh, later. Peace out.